All right, traders, welcome to your midday recap. Well, it's actually past, a little bit past uh, when I normally do the video here, but um, it is Tuesday, November 20th, and it's about 125. So, uh, you know, pretty decent destruction this morning in, uh, in the indices, and uh, we got a bounce. I mean, there was a couple of things that were going on this morning. Uh, Citron came out and said he was going long NVIDIA, which, you know, really caused a lot of the semis. Well, I don't want to say, I don't want to give him the credit, but... Um, you know, I think when you see a headline like that, you're going to see short covering come in. And I think that's what you kind of saw in, in a bunch of different areas. Um, I think all the FANG stocks rallied. Um, basically, you know, everything from the lows. I mean, things were down severely uh, today from uh, from where we were this morning. But um, it looks like we're, we're giving back and, and we're not able to really hold the bounce. Uh, and there's a few things going on. I keep going back to how the VIX is not super, uh, super to the upside, and it's a bit of a head scratcher to me. And you know, when things are a bit of a head scratcher, when I can't figure them out, it's usually there's there's or it doesn't make sense to me. There's probably a reason for that. So you know, the the VIX has not gone back to the October lows, but many stocks are taking out their October lows, right? I mean, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to look at the overall indices. Um, I think it's really a case by case situation and depending on what sector you are in, but certainly there's a number of stocks that you could look at. You know, we talked about Salesforce yesterday, but there's a number of stocks that have taken out the October lows. So I don't think you could really say, oh, well, the S&P is going to be fine if we hold that support, because really, if you dig through, uh, you know, and again, there is support here for, for the overall index, but you know, I, I mean, certain names have really gone through their October lows like, uh, you know, a hot knife through butter. So what I need to see, I, I you know, I think is a couple things. Um, just things like this. Look at oil today. Um, you know, and there may be other things going on with oil, but we are way through last week's lows in oil. A little, little bit of a short um, uh, bounce here. And you could see you know, when, when we get these candles where it's where we're not even close to closing on the highs, we, we're giving it all back. Usually there's going to be more downside to go. But to me, this is just a risk off sentiment. It's not I'm not going to get wrapped up in whether or not oil what is going on with oil. But it just tells me that, uh, you know, price is always leading right in, in oil in stocks so even though there's there really hasn't been any negative economics that are going out when oil starts to just sell off like this it just tells me that there's there's less demand and more supply and i think that's what you what you have going on in stocks too there's just not that demand uh people are still selling into strength so for now i you know i would chalk this morning up as a little bit of a short covering rally i don't think people are running back in um, to stocks at this point. It just doesn't seem like that is what's going on. Um, if you look at high yield spreads, they're also a little bit wider today. Um, the high yield ETF is down 30 basis points, uh, you know, and continues to move down. TLT, if you want to use it as a spread, so there's, there's what, about a 40 basis point spread as TLT is rallying uh, a little bit. Also, a cause con for concern is the dollar again, which is stronger. Um, found some support in here. Um, if you go to the five minute, so, you know, why do I go over the dollar and, and, and things like this? Um, basically because it's a headwind. Um, it's a head, it's a headwind for equities. Sorry, there's a fire drill announcement. But 2590 is the level to watch here. Uh, option activity was, was pretty active this morning. We saw a lot of things like like Western Digital calls go up this morning. Um, I did buy some of these Western Digital calls uh, because the stock is cheap. If you look at the P.E. ratio, it's a four. Um, applied materials, we also... So these things are really, really cheap at this point. It doesn't mean they can't go lower, but I think just for, for a trade... I mean, I've already taken targets. I've already taken targets in this Western Digital. I was in December calls. I actually uh, rolled them out uh, to January just to give it a little bit more time. Um, so it's all not negative, I would say. I just don't like how... There's still no panic in this market and no sense of, you know, capitulation, I would say, 
uh, which is alarming to me that, again, that the VIX is not as high as it is. But applied materials, I think, is pretty interesting down here. Had earnings, bad earnings, and since then, the stock has been higher. So the bad news maybe start to getting priced in into certain areas of the market. Clearly, uh, this wasn't the case for NVIDIA, which still has been going lower. Uh, that did take out a virgin point of control. But... Um, now, I think we just need a little bit more time before I'm I'm crazy uh, jumping into the market here. I'm, you know what's nice about today, and it was um, uh, you know member of Tribeca Trade Group said this earlier in the room, was you know there's still a lot of negative things going on here, but you could still day, day trade to your heart's content. And it's kind of what my approach has been today. Um, I tried uh, PayPal calls as well today. I uh, got in and out of them pretty quickly for some small profits, nothing huge there. Um, Qs I had bought on, uh, you know, right around the lows of the day. I'm out of that trade. I bought next week's calls. Uh, that was a really nice winner, uh, very close to the lows and, uh, and a couple other small trades. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's nice because if we're, if we've got this day-to-day -day volatility, you could really take advantage of it. Um, but again, you have to be disciplined because if we are starting to go lower for the day, just don't want to hang in any trades, you know, to watch the, uh, the, the paint dry. Um, there's one other point that I was going to make. Oh, maybe more on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of call buying, a lot of a lot of small momentum call buyers came in, uh, and then after that, and then after that bounce that we saw in the semiconductors and so forth, um, they pretty much dried up. Uh, so that was it. Oh, uh, last point I wanted to make is it does look like some of the defensives are putting in reversal bars. Uh, I mentioned in last night's video that at this point, you know, if you miss the value rally. I think you just kind of chalk it up to that and just move on to the next thing because, you know, there's no way that I would want to buy Coca-Cola. And again, this is all, this is not hindsight. I said this yesterday, but Coca-Cola, you know, looks like it's putting in a reversal bar for the day. Um, it's uh, bearish engulfing and taking up many candles. So that could actually be a short Pepsi. I see the same thing in Pepsi today. So, you know, again, you I don't think that you could basically say, um, XLU went higher today, but uh, you know I would watch the close for XLU because I did I was a fan of XLU coming into the day, but if it's going to reverse and do that kind of bar that it's doing for Pepsi and Coca Cola, I don't want any part of it. Um, so it just goes to show you, um, you know, you, I don't think that you there's a specific area of stocks that you could hide in. I think cash is king while the market is moving like this, and you just kind of go on and 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 wait for a nice opportunity like we had this morning. Uh, for a quick bounce and then, um, you know, exit. Uh, and then maybe, you know, try a, a couple, you, you know, maybe a, a, you know, a couple uh, swing trades here and there when the setup real is really nice, uh, work, working nicely for you. But um, I think right now, less positions more than, uh, you know, a lesser number of quantity of positions uh, versus having a big book to manage. It's just too difficult right now. Uh, Walmart, I tried, to, I added a little bit of Walmart calls at the end of the day. I thought it was oversold uh, in the short term, but look at it. The thing's down 2.8% today. So I did add a little bit to this with support in here, but you know, I, I think a gap down after a big move, but really, really tough. Sometimes things look like they're good setups. And then, uh, you know, all it takes is basically a, a day for it to break support. And, um, and then you have to change your mind. All right, so that's it. Again, uh, videos for information purposes only. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.